coming up next, my show on MadhouseTV.com. to my pilot under the big sky. I am so excited tonight. We have so much in store for you. Uh, there, there's so much to say and so much to do. I, I don't almost even know where to get started, but I will get started by saying thank you to everybody who has made this possible. And I'm gonna go into that a little bit as we go along. But I wanna tell you a little bit about under the big sky briefly, the purpose of this show. As you know, we are in development with uh, Big Sky, the TV show. Under the Big Sky, my show here, I'm hoping to bring to you some information about Big Sky, being cast members that you can get to know on a more intimate basis, uh, what goes on behind the scenes, what it's taking to make Big Sky, the TV show. So tonight we're going to start with the pilot. We're going to meet a couple people from behind the scenes and to be in front of the scenes. And you'll get to know them a little better, you'll get to know me a little better, and you will get to know a little bit more about Big Sky and more and more as we progress. So, without further ado, I'm going to introduce first, I, I want you to meet everybody and then we'll go, everybody will have some time and, and you'll get to know them individually. Um, to my side here is Michelle Parisi. Hi. And we'll talk with Michelle in just a minute. Just a minute. Next to Michelle is Cheryl. Say hello, Hi, Cheryl. everybody. Hi, Mom. So nice to meet you. <laughs> You'll find out a little bit more about Cheryl because you never really see her. Next to Cheryl is Vincent Farr. Take a look. Say hi. <laughs> hi, everyone. Remember those little glasses? I see Alice and I see... I'm going to bring one of those. Next to Vincent... You have to be my age to know what I'm even talking about. Next to Vincent is Sakani... Parizaka. Say hello. Huh. And we're going to get to know each and every person that we have here tonight. We have a great, uh, a great group here mm -hmm. cast, and, and we're all related to Big Sky in a different way. So we're going to find out about that. We have one more guest who's not here in the person, but will be showing up on a video reel. That person has something to do with this, which I'm going to talk about something very special. So let me start first by, by talking just for a minute with Michelle. Michelle, I would, and by, by the way, this is Michelle Parisi. Did I say that before? No. I didn't say that before. I'm saying it now. It's Michelle Parisi. Michelle, tell the viewing audience what you do with Big Sky. Well, um, I'm an educational consultant, and because there are a lot of children involved in Big Sky, I'm going to be on the set to help with making sure that the children understand what they have to do um, so that it all moves along smoothly. Educational consultant, she left out the word expert. She happens to know more than um, most educators. She has a vast education, a vast experience, and she has spearheaded many programs. Um, on another show, we'll, we'll spend more time with Michelle and find out more about her from that point. But um, an integral part to the set to the cast, and everybody will get to know her, and um, our children will be spending time with her. So I imagine you're probably going to get together with Miss Rose. Hi, Miss Rose. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Who's an educator, too, in the real life. And next to Michelle, we have Cheryl. Cheryl Damas, would you tell us about yourself and, and your part? Of course, Violetta. Um, Violetta's assistant. She brought me onto this project to help organize her, basically, and um, I help do everything behind the scenes to help put up those forms that you see that you sign up for for each meetup and I do a lot of the background administrative type of thing and I'm just such such I feel blessed to be part of Big Sky 
and it's really oh, exciting. She's a really huge help. Exciting. Again, just being modest. I, uh, I, I call Cheryl and I say, oh, help me, I need some forms. I don't know how to do forms. And then I go to Michelle and I say, what's the problem with me? I can't do forms. I could write a doctoral thesis, but I can't do a form. She said, it's okay, it's okay. It's a visual thing. That's Michelle. <laughs> so now I understand I got some visual thing going on there. So it's Cheryl, please help me. And she does all of that and, and expertly so. So when we ask you and encourage you to please, if you're going on a tour, let us know by, by filling out those forms so we can have a better understanding of who to expect at any venue. Just in case we need a bigger venue, of course, uh, it's helpful. So Cheryl is, is greatly helpful in that. And, and thank you, ladies, for being here and, and always being on. Uh, thank you for having us. Thank together. you for having us. Yeah, it's a pleasure ladies. to be part of this thank project. You. Thank you. I, uh, I would like to introduce to you now a young actor, a busy actor. Uh, his name is Vincent Farr, who you met already. But I'd like to start by asking Vincent Farr, Vincent, tell us a little bit about your part in Big Sky. Okay. Um, I play Curtis Thacker, and I am of the Thacker family. I play a troublemaker, and uh, in fact, my whole family is, is a bunch of troublemakers. So I'm going to be causing a little trouble within Big Sky, and, and for that, you'll just have to tune in and see for yourself what kind of chaos we get into. Uh, does that mean the apple doesn't fall far from the tree? <laughs> it could. The troublemaker. Look at that innocent face. Do you see a troublemaker? <laughs> see, you just never know. Isn't it the truth? My mother used to say to me, I could tell when you're lying because your cheeks puff up. <laughs> kind of like that. But look at that face. He doesn't look like a troublemaker. So you will have to tune in and find out what is it that he does that causes such awful trouble. I happen to know that you're busy with other things. Vincent, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my full name is Peter Vincent Farr. I go by Vincent. Um, Peter Vincent Farr, I'm a junior. Um, my father has the same name as me, so that's kind of my tribute to him. Um, I grew up on sports. I'm a sports fanatic. Played baseball all my life. Played basketball, football. Um, Acting wasn't my first passion, kind of fell into it by accident. Um, been acting for about six or seven years now. I worked on The Dark Knight Rises, which was a blockbuster um, film a few years ago. I was in a scene with Tom Hardy and Christian Bale. Oh, nice. Uh, that was very exciting. I did an episode of One Tree Hill. Uh, which was on the CW network. Very nice. So, ever since then, it's, it's been uh, a lot of hard work. But, but in that mix, where was it that you got the bug? Because we all know once we get that foot into acting, you get the bug and, and it doesn't let go. So, what was it for you? What project was it? It was that Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Yeah, just being on that set and being in front of actors that you look up to and admire and being on a a movie set where you grew up on and enjoy the movies, you know, beforehand. Um, just being on set and talking to fellow actors and actresses, that's where it really hit me, that this is, this is what I want to do. Yeah. You caught the passion, yes. right? You caught the yes. passion at that point. Oh boy, when you catch the passion, it does not leave you. <laughs> Isn't it the truth? Mm -hmm. That's so true. How do you feel uh, personally, how do you feel about Big Sky? Big Sky, to me, is very important. Um, I grew up on country westerns as a kid. Bonanza, Little House on a Prairie. So when this came along and I submitted, I was very hopeful that I'd, I'd be a part of it. And um, to watch the success that it has you know, partaken in um, ever since it's, it's been announced is, is really incredible and just amazing. And we haven't shot a uh, single bit of film, you know, a pilot, and the buzz around is really just amazing. It's and to remarkable. be a part of this is, is really rewarding. Yeah, it's a remarkable thing, and, and as Vincent said, we haven't even gotten to filming yet, and the country, not only the country, 
internationally they're talking about Big Sky. Thank you to Bully Bumgarner and Rick Valentine because without them, we wouldn't be sitting here today. We wouldn't have what we have with Big Sky the TV show. Uh, Bully Bumgarner or Julie Bumgarner is the uh, creative mind behind it, and she partnered with Rick Valentine, who is a fabulous, phenomenal composer, and they both write. They write wonderfully well. We have a team of writers. We have teams of people that do all facets of Big Sky, the TV show. And um, as Vincent was just telling us, it's, it's phenomenal the uh, exposure, the feedback we get from people. People, are, we hear reports every day about running into people on the street. Oh, I know you. You're in that show, Big Sky, right? Oh, you mentioned Big Sky, and they say, I heard about that. And we haven't even shot anything yet. So it's building up great momentum and a lot of anticipation. Uh, Big Sky is a town that is made up and comprised of, of uh, many cultures, many peoples all coming together to live as people. Not segregated into little groups. There may be groups for various reasons, but to live as people. And uh, that's one of the big thrusts for me. And uh, we, we see that even in the development stage of Big Sky, the TV show. We are uh, coming together around the country. As you know, I have a tour that is now an international tour. And every city I go in and we meet and uh, we get together. We're people from all different cultures, people from different countries, and yet we're united. There's a bonding. There's a bonding that's taken place for the show. There's a bonding that's taken place with us as a people. So, uh, Vincent, I bet you're really excited to get to that point, right? The yes. pilot? Yes. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We can't it's wait. It's been a long time coming. I'm <laughs> really excited for that. It is. And the time is going fast, believe it or not. By the time we get there, we're all going to say, already? <laughs> right? Yep. Right? Well, thank you for sharing from your heart, Vincent. I appreciate it. And uh, uh, before we, we move on with Sakani, which he's going to share something very special with us, we're going to talk about that. Um, I do want to show you a little something that I'm wearing here, and I hope that you can see it, because in a minute we're going to be watching a video clip from the man, an interview I did with the man who gave this to me. Now let me tell you before we go to that video clip, this is called a squash blossom necklace. It is solid silver. It is 150 years old. This was gifted to me by the chieftain, Kenny Lone Eagle, who has since become a very good friend to me. I love him and his wife deeply. They're great people. And um, I won't go into the story too far because I'll get very emotional, but there is a lot behind it. And uh, so I want you to meet Kenny Lone Eagle and hear about him. He's a big part of Big Sky. And we're going to get ready to watch his video clip. And that should be coming up. Violetta Anna Lakari here in Nashville for Big Sky TV Show, your roving reporter. I'm here with a special guest right now, and you are? Kenny Lone Eagle. Kenny Lone Eagle. Are you a member of the Big Sky cast? Yes, I am. I'm, uh, I'm cast as Lone Eagle. And uh, so proud to have that position, and I'm so excited about the TV You know, program. we're excited to have you in the Big Sky TV show as a cast member. Uh, this is very exciting now. I see that you are dressed a little bit different than I think you might dress every day. Is that right? That's right. I'm wearing uh, Jay Silverheels' war bonnet today just for the shots for our Western program because the Big Sky is going to be having a lot of Native Americans in it, and I'm very proud to be a part of this wonderful, wonderful TV program. Actually, the Big Sky TV show really is about the Native American. Of course, there are other people that are involved as the Europeans settled and so forth, but our primary focus is the Native American, and, and I am blessed and honored to meet you personally and to stand right here talking with you, and, and especially in your regalia. I, I, this is just, a, the head piece is phenomenal. Thank you so Penny, much. Penny, can you tell us what does Big Sky mean to you personally? Big Sky is a dream. Big Sky is a dream for any child or young person, including myself as a young boy, that 
like to watch westerns and horses and the trains and the, and the beauty of nature and uh, Native Americans and their different regalias and the way they live because people are always asking how did the Indians live and they, people are starving for information on our, our Native American heritage and it's uh, Big Sky is offering this to the public in this uh, great TV program and I'm just uh, so blessed and honored to be a part of it. It's, uh, it's a blessing from God. I'm so great. For this. Well, that's, that's tremendous. Thank you for sharing from your heart. That really it touched my heart, and I know it will touch the heart of the viewers. All do very you have any other things that you would like to leave with our viewing audience? Uh, the war bonnet that I'm wearing today belong, used to belong to uh, the actor Jay Silverheels for uh, the original Tonto. It's real eagle feathers. It was ha it was traded to my pops, uh, Chief White Eagle, uh, years and years ago and uh, we acquired it for the family. And uh, so when Pops passed on, uh, it was given to me. And so my Pops used it in the motion pictures also. So I hope to carry the tradition on with it and keep a proud thing going. So uh, the, 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 the spirit of the Native American is still there. We are so blessed to have Kenny Lone Eagle with us. Thank you so much for being here. I look forward to being with you on set. And uh, that's going to be a wrap for us from Nashville, Big Sky TV. Thank you for tuning in. Violetta Analakari, your roving reporter. Wasn't that wonderful? That was Kenny Lone Eagle. What a fabulous person. He's got so much to contribute to Big Sky. Uh, really blessed to know him. And now I'd like to talk a little bit with Sakani. Welcome to the show, Sakani. I, I'm so thrilled that you're here. Uh, you have a whole different element to bring to the table, and, and, and we at Big Sky are blessed to have you as a part of us. So tell us a little bit about Sakani. Uh, thank you very much to you and all the great cast and team of, of Big Sky. They invited me to participate in this big, great, uh, amazing project, which I'm proud to uh, be part of it. I just want to say uh, thank you to all of you, okay. and I think it's going to be a hit and a great success. And, yes. uh, and uh, we're all uh, doing our best. You're doing a great work, great job with, with everybody. As you say, people is working 24-7, and that work, all the work is going to be like uh, soon very, 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 very uh, uh, success. Thank you very much. Uh, you noticed that Sakani is not wearing something that we would wear every day. And can you tell us a little bit about, show us a little bit, you know, what you're wearing and tell us about it. All right, yes. Um, well, this is uh, actually um, uh, how people recognize me, like, all the time. I, I have videos, like, uh, and people always ask me the same questions. Um, all right, this vest is, uh, is made out of um, a very special fabric. It's handmade. I come from the nor northern part of Peru. My tribe is like the pre-Inca nation. It's called Tayan. Tayan. The, the Tayan nation is in northern Peru. And all this uh, outfit is coming from there. I have wow. the chacanas here, which means the 12 angles. And I have the tumi here. That's when, called the tumi. When you say the 12, the, say that again? 12? The 12, 12 angles. Angle. The, the chakana means the 12 angles, 12 different perspectives of the life. Oh. And oh. This, is, this is the tumi, which is a, a pre-Columbian artifact. My ancestors <laughs> used, to make, used to make operations with this. And uh, some sacrifices of the sacred animals, like we can uh, give thanks to, to the Mother Earth or to the universe, or, or to our gods, wow. so, or to our father's son. Wow. Which is, uh, was used for very sacred uh, rituals. It means here, if you can look here, it's like a semi-circle. Mm -hmm. It means the power coming from father's son. Okay. And this is the healer, and this is the really action who is going to do the, the healing. That's beautiful. And it's the original one is about like, um, Maybe if uh, feet, maybe longer, mm -hmm. bigger, and it's pure gold. Ooh. This is just a replica. That's beautiful. And, yes. Beautiful. 
tell me, Dasgani, how excited are you to be a part of Big Sky? And personally, what's it mean to you? <laughs> uh, it means a lot. It's a big project, and I will, I, will, I will be representing the Native Americans, my brothers, and, yes. and, and uh, the culture is very interesting. Big Sky is a big project, is, is, as maybe um, many of you know that Big Sky is going to be a town. Like we are building a town where it has no borders, newcomers, and different ethnicities coming to Big Sky. Like uh, African Americans, Native Americans, the settlers, and it's an, a very, very deep, interesting project. I'll be proud of being wow. part of that. You said it better than I could say it. That was awesome. There's another thing about Sakani that I'd like you to get to know. He is well known internationally for his flute making and flute playing. He, he brought some instruments that he's made and he's going to play for us. He's going to give us a special treat. This is an amazing, an amazing um, art form. It's absolutely melodic, it's beautiful, and I can't wait to hear, so I'm not going to wait another minute because I want to hear. So would you mind playing for <laughs> yes, us? Yes, all right, yes. Before I become an actor, I was like, uh, I'm still a musician, and I have four albums, which is based on meditation, uh, flute for meditation. Four it, albums. And that really is a gift. I, I, this half hour has gone by so fast that um, I, I just want you to keep playing and playing and playing. But we do have other things to talk about. I am thrilled. And, and um, Julie, think shaman, think shaman. OK, <laughs> just look at this, what I'm seeing here. Um, you bring a whole culture with you, Sakani. A whole culture. You told me something earlier when we were talking personally, which just floored me, about your heritage. Uh, you said over the generations, there's been no mix. No mix. We, Tell us. We have been a pure and we're trying to preserve that from uh, hundreds of years, we have been to the same exact um, heritage and, and we have no mix in our family. Wow. And uh, my grandfather comes from a lineage of shamans, uh, Novi. Shamans is a, is a person like 500 years or 1,000 years ago, there were no doctors, there were no uh, pastors, priests, there were not. So our communities always uh, look for a person who can lead or who can make all these healings and take, take part uh, the main part for the community to heal um, um, people who seek spirituality or either seek um, uh, physically. So that person was called shaman who used the natural the shaman. herbs. The shaman. Who, shaman. Yeah. We would say shaman. So what, what Sakani is telling us is that his grandfather was a shaman and a very gifted shaman. Right yeah. now, isn't that something? Real quickly, isn't that something that that comes down through the generations? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, so I I grew up in um, in his farm when I was little. So he had a, a horses, and but I always was very um, very observant, watching him and what he did. And I still remember 
he passed away like like many years ago, but I still have remember. I can feel, I can feel the power yeah. that he has, like in my dreams and in over these these uh, actions. Like his presence, yeah, his yeah. presence is 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 very powerful and still. And I want to keep that. I want to keep that. That's a spiritual connection. There is, there's, there's no other words to explain that. That's, that's huge. Um, thank you for sharing that. That's real personal. You're very welcome. Um, Vincent, do you have any last words that you'd like to share with our audience? Just that I'm, I'm very grateful to be here. That you would ask me to be your first guest on your first show. I did. Thank you very much. Thank you to Jerry Parisi, the Parisi family. Everybody here at Madhouse TV, I'm really excited to be a part of Big Sky and look forward to, to filming and for you to finally see it. Thank you for your support, your feedback. Everybody, just thank you. Thank you, thank you ladies, for being a part of the show. I want to take time, just a brief minute, and say thank you to Tom Mealy and Vicki Mealy, to Janine Zarilli and Tommy Marr, um, for without them, we would not have MadhouseTV.com, and I would not have Under the Big Sky. And a special thank you to one of my best friends, Jerry Parisi. Without Jerry, I wouldn't have a whole lot of stuff, and I could go into a long list, but I won't do that. I just want to say thank you, Jerry. Uh, thank you to the whole team here. It's just, it, it's a huge blessing to be able to have this venue to support Big Sky, the TV show. And it is my endeavor with Under the Big Sky to continue to bring you our cast, our background people, the people that are working the 24-7 to see this project not only come to fruition, but be a huge success not only in television viewing, but we are setting the model for how to do this in a whole new way. Isn't that the truth? Did you agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. Everything from top to bottom. Is that right? Absolutely. So I'm going to say a good night for tonight, and a thank you for allowing me into your room and into your heart. Until I see you next time, God bless.